Today's presentation is about knowing your target audience and we'll, look, we'll be describing and assessing the needs of targeted learners for instructional media design. Today we'll be talking about the target audience. What are their instructional needs? The topic of our lesson that we're going to be creating. How we're going to use multimedia. A learner assessment concept and what are the PowerPoint skills of the presenter. In the blue boxes, you're going to see that I've referenced the Quality Assurance of Multimedia Learning Materials version 1.5 framework and pointed out some areas where uh, we've met those objectives. Our target audience is public high school students in grades 10, 11, and 12. The student academic abilities are a known factor as they've been in class for several months and have access to their records. The course is a pre-AP computer science class where we teach computer programming. There's a diverse gender and ethnicity mix and these are typically high achieving students that are college oriented. Many are gifted and talented and typically they'll take AP classes while in high school. This class is held in a fully equipped one-to-one -one computer ratio, Windows-based computer lab with lab management software and a projector so students can watch uh, what I'm doing as an educator. Student group is computer literate. They're proficient with Microsoft Office applications, coding applications, and other uh, computer science oriented tools that we use during class. They're well, well versed in computer oriented tasks. They have knowledge of network resource usage and access. And they're quite capable of file management tasks that are needed to complete these assignments. As far as instructional need, the students are learning to program their own Android apps using App Inventor and they'll create an app icon to launch their app on a phone or a tablet just like you tap on icons on your device to run applications. So we use PowerPoint as a graphics creation tool uh, to create these app icons and so what I teach them is how to correlate the icon image to the app purpose and that their, their app design should correlate to the icon design. So we do this by carefully selecting our backgrounds, embedding an image within it, and paying close attention to colors, fonts, and artistry as we work on this project. When done, they create a usable image of the proper file type and size for use within the App Inventor software so that they can install their app icon into App Inventor and then generate their app. And it will have the icon installed within it. This makes a real-world connection for the students as they see that creating the app icon, generating the app, and then putting it on the device is an exciting uh, event for them. The current lesson is going to be an instructor-led session where I teach them how to access their images, use, uh, use those images, and what are the design concepts they need to pay attention to. They need to carefully select icon backgrounds and images from the shared network resources I've made available. Again, they're going to use PowerPoint as their graphic creation application, but some students that know Photoshop are going to use that, and that's, that's great. If they have those skills, uh, I'll go ahead and let them use that software. We're going to have a practice session to teach the concepts of how to create icons first, and then each of them will create a final app icon to embed into their app which is then loaded on the Android device for their interactive use. And I wanted to point out that this uh, meets some UDL guidelines for Principle 1, Checkpoint 3.1, where we supply the background knowledge of how to complete this uh, task, and then the students will use it over and over again throughout the term. To expand on this lesson and incorporate additional multimedia capabilities, I could record and screen capture each of the components of creating uh, this lesson for students to have access to uh, repeated use and further review. I would break this into several sections. 
the effective use of network resources where I cover file management, use of image libraries, and secure student folder access would be the first video. Next, I would go ahead and use PowerPoint to create the app icons and complete the uh, app icon lesson within that video. And last, I would create a video of how to take that finished icon and embed it into App Inventor, which is a quick and easy step. Again, this for UDL purposes, this meets Principle 1, Checkpoint 3.3 on scaffolding strategies. And I think that's important for some students who uh, need a little, little more time to work through the process. Basic assessment of students' listening skills and their ability to follow directions is monitored as we complete these lessons. I give them the ability to ask questions. They're able to self-assess their progress and modify and change the graphics as needed. And then check, check for understanding is uh, done with each step as I walk around the room and monitor their performance and their uh, progress. And this gives them, a, again, a checkpoint uh, for self-assessment strategies under UDL. Creation of app icons is going to be necessary throughout the term, so they're going to be required to complete app icons and follow those design alignment of icon to app uh, considerations that I've given them in the earlier training. Now as far as uh, PowerPoint I've used it extensively for many years. I've created business, technical, and educational uh, PowerPoints and delivered those to various types of audiences over the years. I do teach Microsoft Office, which includes PowerPoint, uh, and I've done that for many years. I scored very high on the skills inventory and quite high on the uh, best practices assessment as well. I do know that as I continue to practice building uh, PowerPoints, my skills will increase and my PowerPoints will be better. So today we've talked about our target audience, who they are, what do they look like, what is their background, what was the instructional need? We needed to create an icon and that was the topic of the lesson was an icon for our, uh, app creation. We used multimedia to complete the assignments and then we looked at how could the lesson be expanded with further use of multimedia. Talk, talked about learner assessment strategy and then looked at the PowerPoint skills of the presenter. These are the references for this presentation. And this wraps up the presentation for today. Thanks for your time.